Hey guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab. If you're new, today in the lab, I'm going to be recreating this look you guys posted on the comments of my last video when I had a different hairstyle that you guys wanted me to show you how I got this look and used all the products. So all of that will be going on throughout the video. It is a voiceover so that I was able to focus on the look. But yeah, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I definitely want to add you to the fam. Bam. And without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, so first I'm gonna be starting with this Sephora uh, moisturizer. Sephora has a skincare line. You guys gotta check out my last video talking about my monthly favorites or monthly makeup stash for the month of May, as well as this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Sorry, so many words to say. But both of these products are amazing skincare products, especially the moisturizer and the uh, Milk Makeup Primer. If you're looking for a primer that's gonna keep your foundation on all day like at least nine to ten hours per day then definitely check out the milk makeup hydro grip primer but make sure that it's dry before applying your foundation i'm now going to go in with my josie marin vibrancy concealer this is just going to help the eyeshadows adhere to my eyelids i use a concealer as my eyeshadow primer um, it's just too many products to try to do an eyeshadow primer and all that jazz. So the palette that we're going to be going in with is the ColourPop QAF palette. I'm going to be going in with those that bright yellow in this palette. But first, if you've been watching my channel, you know I love to start with the transition shade. So I'm going in with that orangey brown shade as my transition shade. Just so that all the colors can just flow and look seamless. And now to make that yellow pop, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Chunky White Pencil and just put that all over the eyelid. So what the white is gonna do is gonna boost that yellow so that it can be more pigmented and brighter and not so subtle and just look bland. So that is all that I'm doing here. I am gonna use my finger to like blend the white out a bit because I don't want it to look chalky. So you wanna be mindful and careful about that when you're doing eyeshadow looks using like the NYX White jumbo chunky stick now we're going to go into that yellow that's in this palette and just pack that color on i am using a flat brush this brush is from an old bh cosmetic set that i got years ago but i'm just going to pack that yellow on and keep packing it on until i like the intensity and then since i do love where it's at i'm going to go ahead with this ysl um, shock mascara and these Poshly Chic Lashes, these are in the style Chanel. I will have this company's lashes link down below, but that is the packaging, what the lashes look like, and boom, va va boom. Now I'm gonna be color correcting with the same concealer, and then going in with the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade 7.5. My shades and all of the products that I'm using in this video, you guys, will be listed down below in the description box. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Giorgio Armani foundation all over my face. And then for concealer, we're gonna go in with two concealers. That is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. The shade will be listed down below. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. And then the Too Faced Multi Sculpture Sculpture Concealer. I just wanted to give it a little bit more oomph. This is a full beat, so if you don't like to do like all the extra coverage and conceal and all that, you can certainly skip some steps, but this particular video, I just wanted to do like an extra, I just wanted to be extra pretty much. So now I'm just blending that one out. It's a little bit lighter than that cover effect, so that's why I went in with that. I'm gonna set everything with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now you guys, this powder is a um, pretty matte finish, so be mindful of that when you're getting the Laura Mercier. It is pretty matte compared to other powders that I typically use but I love this powder because it sets everything in place and it just gives you like that full flawless look when you're looking for like that mm, extra beat okay so just blending all of that out brushing away any excess powders and then we're gonna move on to bronzing the face so this is the Fenty Bajan Gal bronzer by Fenty Beauty um, this one is a bit orange on me but I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of it and then go in with another uh, bronzer to give me more coolness to the face. This does give me a lot of warmth, but I like to put two of them on to balance everything out so I'm not looking like Oompa Loompa. And that is what I'm doing here, down the bridge of my nose, the cheeks, the forehead. And then we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Heels in the shade Saddle. 
and it's more of a cool tone bronzer that I'm just gonna mix on top of there which is gonna sculpt my face a bit more than the Fenty bronzer did you guys when I'm doing like my makeup let me know down below if you enjoy doing your makeup as well like it's so therapeutic and you just feel yourself the entire time that you're doing your makeup but let me know down below if it's just me or what like let me know so now I'm gonna chisel those cheeks honey I'm gonna use the same powder and like sculpt out my cheeks what this is gonna do is just allow the cheekbone to look even higher than what it was so I don't have to necessarily contour with a cream product so that's how I get the like dramatic um, high cheekbones by doing this step now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes that has been like used like daily since I had it the buxom uh, wanderlust blush in the shade dolly it smells so good you guys if you haven't tried the buxom blushes then definitely try them they're they're like mineralized so they have a little sheen to them they're really comfortable on the cheek and I'm going to be putting the lip on now. This is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick and the Laura Mercier matte lipstick. So first going in with the Kat Von D in K-Dub. But all of the information, like I said, will be listed down below. And then going in with the Laura Mercier pink shade on top because it's going to make it brighter. That Kat Von D makes it brighter and allows the Laura Mercier to stay on longer. And then setting everything with the Kors uh, Rose Water. I've been loving this stuff. But that Laura Mercier was um, in the shade Queen. All of it will be listed down below. I keep saying that. This is the highlighter. It is in the shade Boomin. This is the ColourPop and Makeup Shayla collaboration. The first one that she collaborated with them for. And yes, honey, glow, glow, glow. This is like one of the favorite parts of makeup. Putting on the highlighter. I put it everywhere. And this is the finished look super easy super simple you can get a yellow shade from anywhere let me know what you guys think you can get a bright pink from anywhere it could be drugstore it could be high-end but yeah let me know what you guys think about this makeup tutorial and the talk through type of chit chat type of video let me know if you like voiceovers and all that jazz so until next time love peace and beauty i'll see you guys in my next one bye